I'd like to say something about Roger Adams, who first hired Lowell to, to come to the univers university here. And there's um, some stories about Roger a lot of people don't realize, but you know, the Illinois Central Railroad tracks here was the way the hemp plants were brought up. <laughs> and the reason there's wild marijuana in this county is because the major hemp processing plant of America was right here. And it later became a cap and gown factory. I don't know what's going on there now. But the reason black people were brought into this town was because breaking hemp before the decorticator machine was invented was intensely physical labor. And they had to import blacks from the south, from Kentucky and so on, to, to break the hemp. And Roger did a secret, uh, I, Roger, by the way, is one of the most powerful people in the world. I don't, you don't realize he's a descendant of John Adams. He's a Boston Brahmin. His family is the oligarchy. He was offered to run Harvard <coughs> Chemical Department and said no, because of the politics of Harvard. He said, I'm gonna go to this podunk town and I'm gonna build a better chemistry department than you got at Harvard. I don't know if he did it, but that's what he wanted to do. So that's why, you know, he hired the people that he did to build that department. So, but as a secret project, he did uh, the first isolations and experimentations with cannabis oil. And because this university is so conservative and so uptight, <laughs> Israel now has credit for all the research and groundbreaking stuff that Roger Adams did with cannabis here. And I, I, you know, I just think that uh, at some point it's going to be legal in the next five years. And I hope that the university at some time will give Roger the credit that he deserves for being the first person to study and isolate cannabis oil. And um, now, in the 1960s, I had some problems with my dad because he didn't like Timothy Leary, and I didn't either, actually. And uh, he thought that uh, I was on the wrong path and so on. So, but anyway, um, uh, a, a graduate student got in trouble with some marijuana here on the campus. And he came to Lowell and he said, um, listen, I'd like you to come testify at the trial that it's misclassified as a narcotic. And uh, Lowell said, um, oh, you got the wrong guy. Roger Adams did all the research. So Roger Adams lives three doors down from us and, and Lowell helped get this student go over, over, over his house and, and um, he came to the trial and testified. It's not a narcotic, it's misclassified. He got off. It was like 1967. And um, the SDS uh, gave uh, Roger a plaque, honorary membership. <laughs> you know, the SDS was the most radical student organization of its time. Roger had the plaque framed and put on his mantle place next to all his awards. <laughs> uh, you know, they sent him to Tokyo, they sent him to Germany after the war. He was a major player all over. But I, I do know that when he did isolate and did all his research on cannabis oil, they were on their way to Washington, with, he was with two grad students, and they realized they were supposed to bring this oil so that this, the government could use it for a uh, truth serum. And they realized they'd done all this work, but nobody had actually tested the oil. <laughs> so the three of them decided, well, we better try it. <laughs> And you got to read his autobiography. They got way high on the train ride. <laughs> they cut. They, they they blazed the trail. Okay. They, they stepped in territory. And much later in life, it's so strange because um, you know my dad got dementia later in life, and I, I told him you should eat some cannabis oil. I think it might help. And I finally, because uh, my sister could get it in Colorado, I said, get him some oil. And I said, I said, be careful though, don't overdose him, then he'll, he'll get scared. And, um, and she said, well, what, how much should I give him? So I said, well, I don't know, like a grain of rice or something, I don't know. 
Um, it turned out, my sister got the most powerful honey oil in existence. It took a tiny little amount, and it was high for three days. <laughs> you wouldn't do the oil anymore. But, um, you know... Uh, but he tried it. He, he, did, he did try it. He was kind of very uncomfortable. But the, here's, here's what I truly believe. Is that, um, you know, I went to high times for 20 years, and I helped make marijuana legal. And uh, Roger Adams was the first guy to isolate it and never got the credit. And um, I just think that this university, now that it's going to be legal, should take the forefront. Take it back. You know, listen, we've got some of the greatest spotlight minds in the world in this room. I've been around you for 60 years. I still can't understand half of what you're saying. <laughs> but I do know if you'll just take that oil and study its anti-cancer effects, somebody's going to get a Nobel Prize. <laughs>